I don't know if you can just see one eye poking out. We can wait. Sit normally. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It'll be so uncomfortable. Perfect. What's going on, friends? Today I have with me, if you don't know her already, Martina, who is from the channel. Simon and Martina. Very originally or named. <laughs> eat your kimchi. Yes. Hi guys, you might know also eat your sushi. We have a branding problem, I've realized. <laughs> just look up Simon and Martina. But today with me, I just have Martina, no Simon today. Because today we are talking about our mobility aids oh, and fashion and how we use our mobility aids, how we deal with the stigma of mm -hmm. being young people using mobility aids, because I think that's something we have both experienced. Yep. We both actually have also created hashtags that help us deal with our chronic illnesses and with the mobility aids that we need to use to live our best lives. Mm -hmm. You probably all know about my condition. Quickly, if you don't, I have an autoimmune condition called Takayasu's arteritis, which leads to basically my arteries being really narrow and thin. So I have a lot of trouble with fainting and I also have a chronic pain condition. Super you, fun. Super fun. Yeah. <laughs> Quickly, would you be able to explain the condition that you have? Sure, yeah. Um, I have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. You guys might have seen EDS, which gets confused with um, edge Shireen tags. I didn't know. I think oh. there's people called Eds. So it'll be like Ehlers Danlos syndrome, Ehlers Danlos syndrome, and Ed, Ed Shireen. Or, or is, it, is it Ed Sheeran? I've been living in Asia for so long that I thought that Adriana Grande was how you said it. And then everyone's like, who are you talking about? I'm like, you know. Um, the kind I have is called HEDS. It used to be called hypermobile or type three. It's always changing because no one knows about it. Uh, and basically, I was born with. Um, a genetic disorder, which means my body is not properly creating collagen and collagen is everywhere. It's in your eyes and your teeth and your muscles and tendons. So we often have a lot of dislocations. You'll hear like popping sounds. Oh, just to demonstrate yeah. it for the camera. I didn't try to take it out. It was already out. I was just putting it back <laughs> in. Um, but recently on RuPaul's Drag Race, there's a contestant who also has Ehlers-Danlos oh, Syndrome cool. and it's really bringing uh, a little bit more hey, noticeability. What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> okay, wait. Out. <laughs> Basically, it means that I've been built with uh, faulty collagen in my body, so my body doesn't produce it the normal way. So a lot of people think it's just to do with joints slipping out and popping, but it's actually more than that. We have digestive issues. Some of us have to have feeding tubes. I throw up once to twice a month. Can't poop or poop too much. It's like a huge problem. And you know, now I'm looking into like some heart problems that are coming with it, including fainting and all that jazz. So fun. I just realized I was smiling when you were talking about digestive problems because I also have digestive problems. Yeah. I'm not evil. I just wanted to give Martina a high five. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> Everyone at home was smiling when we were talking that have an illness. You guys were all like, uh-huh, I've been there. So like, if you, we if understand. you don't smile, you cry. Yeah. Yep, get it. <laughs> you have a hashtag called build a ladder. Yes. And that is something that has actually helped me a lot with my chronic illness. That's awesome. Could you describe build a ladder in one sentence? Is that impossible? In one sentence? <laughs> oh my God. Can I make it like a really long sentence yes. with commas? Uh -huh. And then, okay. Very simply, chronic illnesses are crappy, but the biggest problem I found was not coping with the pain, but dealing with the depression that came with it. It's not because we're lazy or we don't have a job or we don't want to do things. It's your body being like, you, you're sick, you need to stay home, and you're fighting against this chemical imbalance. So build a ladder is about how every time I fall into this dark pit, which happens quite often, everything seems miserable. Yeah. The idea is that you need to build a ladder to get out of that pit. And the way you can do it is by counting things in life that people toss away as easy, like getting out of bed. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? You got out of bed today? That is like freaking building a rung on your ladder. You brush your teeth, took a shower. Honey, I can't wash my hair alone anymore. So if I wash my hair alone, I'm like three ladders up. So anything yeah. small can help you get out of that depression. So seeing friends, eating a cupcake, going for a walk, looking at bugs, all these things should count. So just build a ladder should be the small things in life are critically important to keeping you out of that pit. Small bags or even bum bags are great for wheelchair users. You might need to have a bigger bag for all your meds and various medical devices for the day, I sure do. I sling mine over the back of my wheelchair. Having a small look close to hand bag that's easy to reach stops me from straining myself to reach things out of my larger bag or having to rely on someone else to get things out of it for me. High-waisted pants are perfect for wheelchair users. If you can sew, some modifications that are also useful when making your own clothes are to make the back of the pants a little bit higher and also to give them longer legs. These pants have not been modified for use with my wheelchair, but they do have an elasticated waist, which is perfect as my weight fluctuates a lot from my medications and health conditions, or even within the day from 
extreme bloating. Same goes for my top. A wrap top can look super fitted, but it's adjustable for weight that likes to change a lot. And it also means you're not constantly buying new wardrobes. I have learned my lesson with that one. Berets, scarves, snoods, or other cute hats are great for days when you realize that you haven't washed your hair in a week, because who has the spoons for that? Tinted glasses help me with sensory overload. When I'm in pain, I become very sensitive to light, and these glasses also help me in preventing migraines and making things more bearable when I do have a migraine. Anytime I have to look at a screen, go outside, or if I have to visit a fluorescent supermarket, I will be donning these bad boys. Also, if you're like me and you like wearing short dresses, but you don't like flushing everyone when you sit down or with the slightest bit of breeze, you're gonna have some trouble wearing them with a wheelchair. A compromise for me has been rompers that look like dresses, but are actually sneaky rompers. You should also do things like the Queen's Wave. <laughs> Hello! Right? Hello! Hello! How do mobility aids mm. help you throughout the day? If I'm using a brace, something like a knee brace or an, an elbow brace or um, a rib brace, that's because the part of my body is completely unstable. Mm. So no matter how hard I try to keep it in, my kneecap is gonna sublux and yeah. maybe dislocate and I'll fall down a flight of stairs or I won't be able to sit through a meeting because my ribs are out and I need them to be in. Mm -hmm. So I need that in order to keep me functioning at um, the best quality that I can. Sometimes I have to wear them indoors. So just because yeah. you don't go anywhere doesn't mean it's not helping you, it's aiding your life. Then I have mobility aids like my cane. I have a bunch of different mm -hmm. ones. Some are stronger, some are good for travel, some fold up and some don't. And um, those ones I use to keep me stable when I'm feeling quite lightheaded or exhausted, or even if I need to physically signal to people that mm -hmm. I need their seat or yeah. I need to take the elevator. So I use it as kind of like a, hey, you can sit there in that seat, but I'm just saying, I have a cane yeah. and then they'll get up. And, and that's so, the problem with invisible illnesses, right? Like yeah. it's not visible from the outside. So people just assume you're young and healthy when you might be really needing to sit down yeah. like on a bus yeah. or a train or something. So we've seen how helpful mobility aids can be. Mm -hmm. Have you ever not used one because you're worried about how it will make you look? Absolutely, I have. Mm. And I still flutter through that. So because yeah. we do a lot of YouTube events, yeah. um, especially if I'm supposed to feel like sexy that day, I still struggle with the idea mm -hmm. Of a mobility aid making me feel sexy. Yeah. Except for my rib brace, which gives you a hell of a boob lift <laughs> and like a stomach tuck. So it's kind of like wearing Spanx, very <laughs> thick Spanx that people might be able to see. But besides yeah. that, I feel somehow less like feminine or less sexy. Yeah. So we'll have events where I might be wearing like leather leggings and like leather leggings or mm. some like tank top. And I know I should use my mobility aid, but I just yeah. don't want it. Because people treat you differently, don't they like do. because I'm a part time wheelchair user, mm. sometimes I use a wheelchair, sometimes mm. I don't. I am able to realize how differently I will get treated sometimes mm -hmm. when I'm using a wheelchair versus when I'm not. Yeah, and it's the thing about it is it's a combination of empathy and people wanting to help you, but mm. because we are in a frustrated mindset that day, I think it's not necessarily their fault, but it's that we're going through something. Yeah. So if I have my cane and I go to a party, which I have, right away people are like, can I get you a drink? Can I help you mm. with something? Mm -hmm. Do you want to have a seat? And I know they're coming from a good place. Yeah. Of course, someone just came in with a cane, but then it makes me feel like now the focus is only on my illness. Yes. And it's like, hello, I'm yes. Martina. I'm not my illness. So if I don't use my mobility aid, I might be more exhausted, have to leave the party earlier. Yeah. I may not even get there. So I have to kind of balance what's more important to me that night. Yeah. Is it feeling like myself again and being able to maybe hide my mobility aid instead of showing it like yeah. I have it under clothing and go longer? Yeah. Or is it better for me to just go with my most important mobility aids that are quite visible, but yeah. then it will make me feel a different person. That's mm -hmm. what I try to weigh out is more important that day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's difficult. I especially when you're meeting people for the first yeah. time, I feel like for some people, it can definitely make a big impression, mm -hmm. like that they will only see your mobility aid, like yeah. they'll only see my see my wheelchair, yeah. they'll only see your cane. Never thought about they'll first impressions. Yeah, 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 you're right. So definitely, I have I always make that choice when I am meeting someone for the first time. Mm -hmm. Do I bring my wheelchair, mm -hmm. and that becomes like a big focus of kind of my intro introduction yeah. to that person. Like, if you meet someone with a wheelchair for the first time, you're probably gonna think, what happened to them? Why did they end up in that wheelchair? Yeah. Or do I not bring it, but then I'm suddenly going really slow yeah. and then have to either ignore that and try and explain that. And the person might say going. something like, is it okay for me to ask her? Like, should yeah. I ask her why she's in a wheelchair? Yeah. And then they might be toning, totally zoning out of the conversation. Yeah. They're, they're, they have already freaked themselves out that they're gonna offend you or hurt yeah. you. So some people clam up. Mm -hmm. Some people like don't know how to give you eye contact. <laughs> some people are totally fine with it yeah and I always wonder if they have someone mm -hmm. in their lives mm -hmm. that they might know a friend yeah. or family 
memory note. But you're right, yeah. That said, it can also be a good barometer for me as to, mm. you know, is that person worth having in my life? Are they going to totally freak out about yeah. the fact that I'm using a wheelchair or be cool about it? Yeah. So That's really it can true. be a good and a mm. bad thing, I think. Mm. It sounds really strange, but I have psoriasis mm. and my psoriasis is mostly on my scalp that you can see. I've got some belly button psoriasis. <laughs> Why? And then like elbows, but yeah. mostly here. You know, I used to be really self-conscious of going out when I had a psoriasis flare-up because mm. it's very scabby looking. Mm. And then I always wanted a side shave. And one day I just suddenly didn't care if I had a flare of psoriasis and yeah. everyone could see it. So I got my side shave done. Nice. And I've had days where it's been quite scabby and I put cream on it. Mm. But I thought to myself, like a barometer, if I meet someone and they're like, ew, gross, that person has scabs on their head. Then I don't want to <laughs> be friends with that person to begin with. Like, yeah. it's kind of like, yeah. oh, okay, cool. You're an idiot. Yeah. So you go hang out with your other shallow friends. But if you meet people and they like you mm -hmm. and they don't, give a crap about your mobility aids or your psoriasis or your you know your yeah. pimples they don't care that's pretty cool yeah you know yeah so i think it can be a good thing or a yeah. bad thing but then like you know if you're going for a job interview or a business mm. meeting it can be really hard trying to make that exactly that cool. what i was gonna say next <laughs> yeah i've left out my cane a couple times when i first met people mm. and then brought the cane in later and had yeah. to actually tell them that i couldn't make it to a certain part of the mm. event because of it and i realized if i hadn't gone with my cane that day they probably would have not believed me wow so yeah. i had to go in with the cane to be like this is a problem yeah. for me yeah and it was almost like they got backed into a corner like mm. oh of course we respect people with disabilities and you're like, are you reading off a script? Like, it yeah. really sounds like you're kind of mad at me right now, yeah. but like trying to grit through it. <laughs> so it's a complicated yeah. world um, being a, a, I guess, someone who uses mobility aids mm. in a very flexible way. And I think that a lot of people mm. do use mobility aids in a flexible way. Mm -hmm. I think there is a real idea that if you have a wheelchair, if you have a cane, mm -hmm. you're always using that. You can't ever be without it because otherwise you're faking, you're faking it. it. Some days when I'm feeling like, oh, I just don't want to use my wheelchair. I don't want people staring at me. I don't want people to think, oh, has she like stolen some grandma's yeah. wheelchair? Because I have definitely been asked a lot of invasive questions before. Yeah. What I've actually done is decorate my mobility aids with uh -huh. a lot of stickers. Like I've decorated them with these cutesy little stickers, um, lots of flowers. Really flowers yeah. Yeah. So that gives me a lot of confidence to go out yeah. in the world using my chair because I feel like it's mine and I can own it and I can rock it. Do you have anything like that? Do you decorate your mobility aids? Absolutely. Do you have fashion, fashionable ones? Yes, yes. I do. There's definitely not a very big market for it. Um, mm. Most of them are skin colored and none of our skins are the colors of these. Yes. Like strange. <laughs> skin colored. Yeah. Which well, is one none of us. White, Asian, black. Not, we're all like, whose skin is this yes. exactly? Um, they're awful. They're really hard to draw on. They're quite difficult to pin on. Mm. Um, so some of the things I've done is if I have a really plain Cane. Mm. Uh, I have one that's super thick, and so it's very good on days that I'm super wobbly. Yeah. First, I tried putting on stickers. So right now, it's covered in these beautiful like sakura mm. flowers, but the humidity over the summer caused them to peel. So then, I tried um, sparkling nail polish. Mm. So the color doesn't quite change the metal, but if you use one that's like heavy glitter, like get a really cheap Wet n Wild, you know, yeah. dollar store or whatever, and you just paint it on, and it actually looked sparkly. Oh, cool. So that was pretty good. Um, nice. And then the other option I did later was to get ribbon. And I put the ribbon up around and tied it in this beautiful bow yeah. and then made it kind of elegantly swirl down. And that was to make it like a more cool. fancy cane. Yeah. And then recently I got a, an adorable cane that was covered in Sanrio characters. And then slings are easy to decorate. So when I'm using a sling, you can cover that in patches. Iron on patches are the best mm. because the pin variety can snag on your skin. But yeah, you don't want that with EDS. <laughs> yeah, no skin snagging. Um, but if I'm wearing like a thick sweater, like yeah. it's the winter, then I'll, pin, I'll put pins on it. Cool. Um, and I've also had one where I punched in um, spikies on the outside part. But then Simon doesn't like it because when I hugged him, it poked him. <laughs> yeah. And I have some lovely fans that sent me knee brace covers before. Mm, so think of cool. it like it slides over, over their knee. Top. Yeah. But they're polka dot, like one is blue with polka dot. Mm. So there's lots of options out there for that. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Do you think it makes you feel more confident about using them? Absolutely. Because instead of me having to use something that I don't want to use, I'm choosing to use something I like. Like yeah. picking out a pair of shoes. Yeah. You know, what kind of brace am I going to have today? Is it going to be pink or do I want it to be normal looking? Mm. Do I want it to blend with my fashion or do I want yeah. Yeah. to stick out from my fashion yeah should it be hidden or will it be completely revealed and be yeah. very steampunk of me yeah. so there's so many different options that i can do now with my mobility aids mm.
Do you want anything in your lap, like a watermelon wedge? Yes. <laughs> Thank Why you. Why not? Why not? He can be either creepy or just a normal piece huh. of fruit. Ah. So mobility aids are something that I think in our culture is typically associated with being old, mm. not with being young. If you use a cane, you must, you know, you can't also be fashionable and wear high heels at the same time. Mm -hmm. But what we wanted to show you today is that all of that is false. You can be young and use a mobility aid. Mm -hmm. You can be glamorous and use a mobility aid. And you can rock it like we did, like we looked Freaking awesome. And we also filmed on an extremely hot day. Yes, we did. And had nowhere to change. So we had yeah. to keep going back and forth to the house. So imagine how much more fabulous we would look if that was the outfit that we left in, like just one for the day. <laughs> yes. I'd be like, ah. But instead I was like, ugh. <laughs> Reality was me lying on the floor. Yeah, exhausted. I exhausted. have behind the scenes footage of that if you're interested <laughs> oh, in seeing yes. it, it'll be on my video. If you want to see me asleep, <laughs> what a good Completely covered incentive. like a like a zombie by the way, <laughs> but I was wearing like a nice pack and mm -hmm. I had like my ice on so it was nice. Yeah. So this video is actually broken up into two parts. Mm -hmm. One half, that's what you've just watched. The second half is over on Martina's channel at mm -hmm. Simon and Martina. I will link to it down in the description below. So go and watch that to go and see more outfits, more babin and mobility aid. More babin and mobility aid. <laughs> I love that. I was going to clap but I'm like, I yes. can't. Clap oh. for me, Annika. Yay. I think it's tired. Oh, that's wonderful. So, <laughs> my hand is bruised. Oh. Now we need to rest. I need ice rest. Packs. <laughs> and I'm gonna film you while you sleep. <laughs> come on over, come see the video. Delicately press the like button. Delicately press the like button so that you don't break us. If you've enjoyed this video, <laughs> perchance, you could delicately press the share button and spread it to your other friends who might be struggling with not using their mobility aids. Mm -hmm. We can all get them to be excited together. Yes. Stay crafty, everyone, and go watch Martina's video, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye for now. I'm just gonna throw up that shot again of me twirling around in my wheelchair over the credits because it's a very good shot. I like it a lot. Thank you to Martina and to Simon as well who filmed all of our outfit shots. And thank you to everybody who supports me on Patreon and Ko-Fi. I couldn't make these videos without you. Now what are you waiting for? Go and watch the other one on Simon and Martina's channel.